In the heart of Gaza, amidst strife and uncertainty, reports emerged of an extraordinary phenomenon, the dreams of hundreds of Muslim men seeing Jesus. These men have found solace amidst the conflicts that have displaced thousands, destroyed homes, and disrupted livelihoods, plunging many into unemployment and poverty. This video will bring you up to speed with the happenings in Gaza. Keep watching. More than 200 Muslim men in Gaza have claimed to see Jesus in their dreams and have converted to Christianity as a result. These reports are based on the works of a Christian professor, Michael Lacona, who said he received a message from underground Christian ministries in the Middle East that detailed the miraculous conversions. Many doubt other sources do not independently verify these reports, and some question the credibility or motives of the published sources. But what they cannot doubt is the grim fate of these men and women. Christians worldwide have already shown up for their support, including Professor Lacona, who continues to help homeless Muslims get a better life and lead them to Christ. Lacona is a Christian professor and president of Risen Jesus Inc. This ministry answers authentic questions about Jesus' resurrection and the gospel's historical reliability. He said he received a report from underground Christian ministries in Palestine that detailed the miraculous conversions of more than 200 Muslim men in Gaza who claimed to see Jesus in their dreams and asked to follow him. Lakona has helped the men move to safety, fed them, washed their clothes and shared the gospel with them. He also said that he sided with Israel in the war, but prayed for the end of the conflict and the freedom of Palestinians from Hamas. Lacona is an American New Testament scholar, author, and Christian apologist who doubles as a professor of New Testament studies at Houston Christian University, an extraordinary associate professor of theology at Northwest University, and Risen Jesus Inc. director. He specializes in Jesus' resurrection and the literary analysis of the Gospels as Greco-Roman biographies. He has written several books such as The Case for the Resurrection of Jesus, and Paul meets Muhammad. Lacona has also lectured on over 100 university campuses and appeared on television and radio. He was raised in a Christian family and obtained a bachelor's degree in music performance, an MA in religious studies, and a PhD in New Testament studies. Lacona, who had been a Muslim himself before converting to Christianity, was formerly an apologetics coordinator at the North American Mission Board and a research professor at Southern Evangelical Seminary, but resigned from both positions in 2011 due to a controversy over his interpretation of a passage in Matthew 27 that questioned the literal reading of the resurrection of the saints. He was hired as Associate Professor of Theology at Houston Baptist University in 2012 and promoted to Professor of New Testament Studies in 2023. He has been an extraordinary Associate Professor of Theology at Northwest University since 2014. It is unclear how often or how long he visits Palestine, but he has contacts with some Christian ministries there. Lacona and other Christians have been encouraging more than a hundred Muslims who have converted to Christianity after seeing Jesus appearing to them. Because of this, we cannot dispute the testimonies of this magnitude. Hundreds of Muslims in Gaza converting to Christianity after seeing Jesus in their dreams and revelations. The identity of these converts, or the process of their conversion, remains unknown, but the challenges they face in changing one's religion are profound. Many of these men and women who have converted have faced persecution and discrimination from their families and communities. They have had difficulty accessing Christian resources or churches in Gaza, which will create additional challenges in their newfound faith. Thus, other Christians must support them in any way possible, especially by praying for them. The dire situations and conditions these Muslim men and women face daily as the Israel, Hamas war rages on, are immense and very undesirable. The Gaza Strip is one of the most densely populated and impoverished places in the world, with a population of about 2 million people living under a blockade imposed by Israel and Egypt since 2007. The blockade restricts the movement of people and goods in and out of Gaza and limits access to essential services such as electricity, water, health care, and education. The Gaza Strip has also been the scene of several rounds of military hostilities between Israel and Hamas, the militant group that controls Gaza, resulting in widespread death, injury, 
and destruction. The most recent conflict in May 2021 that killed over 260 people, including 66 children and 41 women, and damaged or destroyed thousands of homes and buildings. The conflict caused up to 380 million US dollars in physical damage and 190 million US dollars in economic losses and worsened the humanitarian crisis and the COVID-19 pandemic in Gaza. As it stands, the estimated amount required for the recovery needs for Gaza is up to 485 million US dollars for the first 24 months. This depicts the extent of havoc that has been wreaked on the land. Many people in Gaza have lost their homes, families and jobs due to the conflict and the blockade. Sources say that the May 2021 conflict displaced more than 100,000 people, and some of them sought shelter in schools, mosques or churches, such as the historic Church of St. Porphyrius, which was bombed on October 19, 2023, killing more than a dozen of them. The Gaza conflict has also disrupted the already fragile economy and livelihoods of many people, especially in the agricultural, trade and service sectors. The unemployment rate in Gaza is around 50% and the youth unemployment rate is almost 60%. More than half of the population lives in poverty and more than 60% are food insecure. Many people also suffer from psychological trauma, stress and anxiety due to the violence and the uncertainty of their situation. This calls for Christians to show genuine love and empathy toward these men, women, and children plagued by conflict. Despite the hardships and the dangers, many people in Gaza try to survive and cope with their situation with resilience, creativity, and solidarity. Some people rely on humanitarian aid and assistance from local and international organizations, such as the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, which provides food, health, education and social services to about 1.4 million refugees in Gaza. Some people also try to find alternative sources of income or support, such as online work, informal trade, or community initiatives. Some people also seek to preserve their culture, identity, and dignity by expressing themselves through art, music, literature, or sports. Some people also find comfort and hope in their faith, whether Islam, Christianity, or other religion. It is true that despite their adversities, Gazans continue to exhibit resilience. They seek survival through community support, aid agencies, and innovative means, striving to maintain cultural identity and faith amidst turmoil. Gaza is a testament to human resilience, where faith and determination endure amidst despair. The report of Christ's appearance in Gaza has been seen as a supernatural move of God and a sign of hope amid war and suffering. The report has also been celebrated by Christians worldwide who pray for the salvation and peace of the people in Gaza. Though many criticize this as not being independently verified by other sources, and some also question the authorities' credibility or motives, one thing stands true. Amid the chaos in Gaza, many are seeing the need to turn to God for safety. However, this mass conversion may pose some risks for the new converts and the existing Christian community in Gaza. This is because they may face persecution or discrimination from their families or communities, or may have difficulty accessing Christian resources or churches in Gaza. The Christian community in Gaza is tiny and has been in decline over the years, especially since Hamas took control of Gaza in 2007. They suffer from the isolation and lack of freedom of the Israeli blockade, as well as the exclusion and hostility of some radical Islamist groups. They also face the danger of the Israeli attacks, which have killed and injured many people and damaged many homes and buildings. Amidst all that's happened, we must rise to the occasion and offer more support and prayers for the war-torn strip of Gaza. We should respect and love people of different faiths and backgrounds, and seek to understand and appreciate their perspectives and experiences. We should pray for the peace and justice of all people, especially those who are oppressed, persecuted, or suffering from violence and poverty. We should share the gospel of Jesus Christ with gentleness and respect and be ready to give a reason for our hope. We should also trust in the sovereignty and power of God, who can work in mysterious and miraculous ways even in the darkest and most hopeless situations. We pray for the peace of Gaza 
and all that are suffering in the neighboring Israel, Hamas, and Palestine regions. Amen. If this video has moved you, kindly leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.